communication with other drivers to maintain the flow of traffic. To maintain a smooth and orderly flow of traffic, all drivers must have strong communication skills with other drivers. Even if you have no control over another driver's behavior, if they make their intentions clear, you can change how you drive to minimize disputes and interruptions. Always keep an eye out for other drivers changing lanes, turning, or slowing down. You must also let other drivers know your intentions. The ability to communicate among drivers is crucial. Contrary to what many drivers believe, drivers cannot read one another's minds. Without letting other drivers know what you plan to do ahead of time, you run the risk of causing a traffic bottleneck or, worse yet, a collision. Never being complacent is one of the most important principles in road safety that all new drivers need to learn. Even if you find yourself in a position that appears to be predictable, you should never presume that you know what other drivers will do. Keep in mind that every driver is unique, and not everyone makes sane decisions all the time. Your means of communication. What resources do you have at your disposal to interact with other drivers? Every car has built-in communication technology that can be used in a variety of settings. 1. In an emergency, the horn should be used to swiftly get another driver's attention. For instance, to avoid a collision between your car and theirs. 2. You can alert other drivers to your intended route change by using a signal light. 3. Brake lights alert drivers behind you when you want to slow down. 4. Hazard lights alert other drivers that your vehicle is inoperable or having trouble. Use of signal lights. To alert other motorists, you must switch on your indicator lights before you turn, change lanes, exit, or pull into a parking space. Your state's driving manual contains more details about this. In most jurisdictions, it is against the law to turn at an intersection, into a driveway, alley, or private road without first signaling for at least 100 feet. Before applying the brakes as usual if you need to slow down or stop, lightly tap the brake pedal to turn on your brake lights. Drivers behind you can adjust their following distance as necessary thanks to this alert. Hand use when driving. You must use hand signals to alert other drivers to your intentions if your turn signals or brake lights are malfunctioning for whatever reason. Even if you've never experienced car difficulty yourself, you may need to learn how to decipher hand signals if you ever encounter another driver. The use of these signs is also common among bikers. Make time for it. Before making a maneuver, be sure to give the drivers in your vicinity adequate time to register your communication. Wait a short while after indicating your intention to change lanes before confirming that the other vehicles have seen your signal. Nearly as harmful as not signaling at all is signaling too late. Additionally, even when your signal is activated in a timely manner, there is never any guarantee that other drivers are paying attention to the road and have noticed it. The moral of the story is to never perform a maneuver until you are confident it is secure. Before you re-enter the traffic, give way to all pedestrians. Watch out for children and elderly people who could take longer to cross the street.